Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this simple video and for today I will be painting some birds on a wire and also with a wintry feel in it and I will be starting with my sketch and I'll just pre-sketch the wire and the birds and that is basically it and for today I am using a cold press watercolor paper. It is Clairefontaine Fontaine watercolor paper, 300 GSM or 140 pounds. It is also 20 by 20 centimeters, but it's fine. You can also use a different size of the paper and different shape of the paper. Mine is rectangular, but of course, as I said, you can, yours can be, you know, whatever you have. And now I am sketching those couple of birds that are just sitting still on a wire. And there is also one bird with spread wings. Since we will be painting our birds as silhouettes, there is no any particular and special detail needed. Just the basic shape of the birds will be enough and do just fine. When finished with my birds, I am privetting the entire paper and I'm using this quite large brush that can hold a lot of water and quickly water my paper. Then moving on to the background and for the background I am using black and also mix of blue and black and I'm just adding that color here and there, not anywhere particular, just as you can see just here and there tapping in the paint and those colors since the paper is wet those colors will bleed blend slightly so just add wherever you feel like it blue wherever you feel like it black as i said i'm doing it randomly not in any particular way and I, when i finish with the first layer i'm just on top of it adding some sprinkles of a clean water afterwards i will let it to dry completely and when it is dry completely i will be adding the second layer in the same manner in the same way as the first layer when privetting, I'm just also being careful. I'm not doing uh, horizontal or vertical strokes. I'm just doing the same strokes when privetting because I don't want my paint to spread in a horizontal or vertical way to pick it up in that way. So just be careful when privetting the second layer. And maybe if your paint is dark enough, you don't even need a second layer. After finishing with the paint, with the background, I am adding some sprinkles with white gouache and also with black. I left it to dry completely and when it dried, I moved on to painting the silhouettes of my birds. And since my sketch is still visible, I did not paint the background very dark. I can use it and then paint just the birds. As I said, we're painting them as silhouette and I'm using this black that I used also for the background paint in my birds. And when I finish with the birds, I will be painting the wire. And unfortunately, my camera stopped. So just there is just one part missing where I painted the wire. But it, I was just, you know, doing the stroke following the line that I pre-sketched. And then on top of it, I'm just wiggling my brush because I do want that wire to look like there are some couple of wires on it mixed together. So that is the reason why I'm just going on top of my wire and just wiggling with my brush. The last thing I'm going to do is add a couple of sprinkles first with white gouache and as you can see I picked up the paint and then dab it, dab it into my water because I do want also a larger sprinkles. I don't want it to look as stars. I do want it to look as snow. So we do need a larger and a smaller sprinkles. Also I've added some black into my white gouache, sprinkled that and then on top of it the last one I've sprinkled just black. And with that, I'll be finishing off this painting and this video. Quite simple, as I said. And I hope you do like it. You will give it a try. And if you do like it, please hit the like button, share it, comment. And if you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. That really means a lot to me. And if you want to go a step further, maybe consider joining my channel. Press the join next to the subscribe. Listen to the offer and the side. 
So again, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.